Greetings fellow humans, I'm Martian Boo, and today's pocket video is on Pikachu EX with the Lieutenant Surge package. The main strategy of this deck is to get out Pikachu EX and fill your bench with lightning Pokemon. Pikachu EX's Circle Circuit does 90 damage for 2 lightning energy, which is a lot very fast for a basic. So then it's just a matter of which lightning Pokemon do you play to fill your bench so Pikachu EX can do all of that damage. Apart from Zapdos EX, which is pretty good on its own, this deck is using Raichu and Magnus in combination with Lieutenant Surge to provide a really strong backup plan. Magneton's Volt Charge lets you attach lightning energy to it passively, and then once your earliest attacker gets knocked out, you can send up a Raichu, use Lieutenant Surge to move the energy from the Magneton up to the Raichu, and finish off whatever your opponent has out. A couple of things that I really like about this deck is A, that it feels very complete. You're not running cards just to fill out 20 slots. Everything that's in here, you want to be in here. But also you can complete the whole deck with just the Pikachu pack and the promos from the shop. So you don't have to hunt down a bunch of different pieces from a bunch of different packs. If you want to have a complete Pikachu EX and Lieutenant Surge deck, you just have to keep opening Pikachu packs until you find all the pieces. But yeah, this is a really strong deck and a really fun deck. I hope you enjoy the games and thank you so much for watching. And I think I'll zappy up. Just cause it's gonna be a while before we power up this Pikachu. But I do have the X speed anyway. Hmm. So yeah, so Zappy's peck isn't gonna matter too much. Probably just gonna X speed up Pikachu next turn. Maybe not next turn. His electric generator thing in pocket, that would be something. That would be pretty broken. Can you imagine? <laughs> Especially if it wasn't scaled. Yeah, so electric generator is uh, a regular paper TCG card. You look at the, it's an item. Look at the top five cards of your deck. And you can take up to two lightning you find there and attach it to your lightning Pokemon on the bench in any way you like. Um, <clears throat> and that's with a starting 60 card deck. This is a starting 20 card deck, so like... Well, I guess it doesn't have any lightning energy in it. How would that even work? You'd have to change it. Okay, it would do nothing in this game, actually, because there are no energy cards in your deck. It would just be like, attach a lightning energy, I don't know. <laughs> I really like Electros, but unfortunately he's stinky. He is pretty stinky. That's true. I wish Lightning, I wish Lieutenant Surge wasn't Pokemon specific. If it was like move it up to you, your bench, or like move it up to an evolution Pokemon or something like that, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Does Misty work on Kingler? That's the other thing is Misty works on everything. Misty is not, um, because my opponent has Moltres, I'm just going to start picking away at it with the Zapdos. Misty isn't Pokemon specific, it's just any water Pokemon you can target with a Misty. And like, Brock and Lieutenant Surge and Blaine only work on very specific Pokemon within their type. It's weird why the Misty works that way. I like the way that Arcanine looks. Did I show Decklist? No. Not really. I could. It's actually on my tweeters because I think this is a really good well I could accept that my stream setup isn't that way right now if you're watching on the YouTubes you're gonna see it though to see it whether you like it or not right at the beginning uh, here's the tweet where I tweeted out the deck list so if you want to see it there it is I think this is like one of the better decks in the game and also how much damage does this do this is 120 so they need a Giovanni to make me sad. Um, they don't need anything to knock out the Pikachu. So now I have to evaluate if I even want to send up Pikachu to knock out Moltres next turn. The answer is maybe not. I swear, at least played Misty on Kingler at least 10 times now, and she doesn't give a single head, so that's all. Oh, I see, like, she doesn't give a single head, so it's always been Tails? Is that what you mean? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, that, that she doesn't have increased odds on different Pokemon, at least not that's stated. But it'd be hilarious if she had, like, extra chance to work on Starmie or something like that. Um, so I don't have any Giovanni in here either. So I am... No, you know what? I take it back. I was about to say I'm, I'm never knocking out that Arcanine in one hit, but I am, right? Because 
the Arcanine is going to deal damage to itself. So. It'll be a bummer if they have Charmeleon this turn. Because if they have Charmeleon, that means they probably have Charizard too. And they can just knock out my Raichu right after I send it up. Do they have XP? Okay, they do. Mm -hmm. I was curious about the amount of times two you have. Yeah, there's everything's times two. I could see the the thing if I had tutors for evolutions, I could maybe see going to just one Raichu. And maybe just one Magneton. But you don't yeah, you, you need to like you need to find them manually, so. Alright. And the Zapdos gets to live too. I forgot about that. That's cool. I have XP. Do I want to use it? Yes. Wait, this is going to work out pretty good, I think. So yeah, send up the energy with Lieutenant Surge. It sends them all, you don't get to pick. So it's good to attach afterwards if you already have enough. And then... I mean, I guess I attach to him. It doesn't really matter. Because what's probably going to happen is they send up Arcanine and then I just Lieutenant Surge again so that if they attack with it, they knock themselves out. You see a lot of one-up trainers? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, so here's this Magneton. I'm gonna do this. This is a little risky, I guess. But like, what are they gonna do? Lose to me? The, the thing is, I don't have a follow-up, right? Like, there's a whole turn where I can't do anything. I've used all of my Lieutenant Surges, so... If they retreat that, send up Charmander and evolve it, I could be toast, because I'm not running any Sabrina. If I can get XP, then this is fine. <laughs> so they're relying on like they have to get Charizard. I don't think they can ever do this without it. And I'm probably toast if I can't get an X speed right here. All right, there's X speed. Hmm. Actually, don't think I XP'd yet. The thought of that. <laughs> the thought of that, uh. Charmeleon is terrifying. Five cards left. How have they not found it? Are they running like a 1 1 1 line? Now I think it's okay. Now I think it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to send up Pikachu, and Pikachu does a ton of damage. I was curious if you're going for, like, one credit card or potion instead of two times speed. I think potion is Omega Filler. Like, it comes in handy sometimes, which is why it's worth running over some other things. But it's usually, like, as soon as the game has more, like, more card options, potion is going to get cut from almost every list. It's it's mostly good right now because there isn't anything better. Um, <clears throat> the 
The Pikachu deck requires extra basic lightning in a Pokemon. You need to have a higher volume of basic lightning Pokemon so that the Pikachu can even deal damage. And then if you're running the Lieutenant Surge route, you need two full evolution lines and you need two copies of Lieutenant Surge. So, um, and the X speed is really important because you need to be able to retreat out Pokemon for your next attacker. And like, it matters for being able to attach energy and retreat in the same turn in a lot of spots. So I think that's a, a super two of in a deck like this. The If I was going to make space for a card, it would be Sabrina. That's the card I miss the most. I would like one Giovanni to hit certain breakpoints, and I'd like at least one Sabrina because, you know, sometimes you you really need that. But uh, there's enough room for it with the Lieutenant Surge package. There's too many evolutions in there's Lieutenant Surge. Uh, and Thunderbolt dealing as much damage as it does on the Raichu covers your your lack of Sabrina in most spots. Sometimes Sabrina having a Sabrina is the only thing that would have made the difference between you winning or losing. But most of the time, the you deal so much damage with the Raichu that that's fine anyway. So you don't you don't really need it. But anyways, like I never want Potion. But like Potion, sometimes it matters, but it usually doesn't. I wouldn't want to devote a, a deck spot to that. I, I'd want to. A Sabrina and a Giovanni before I I want that, and I don't want to cut evolutions from this because there isn't an evolution tutor. So if you're gonna find your evolutions, you need to have max copies of them. That's that's all. Here's Magnemite. Water deck. So ideally, with this deck, you have Magnemite, Zapdos, and Pikachu out. One of each Pikachu. Also, instead of the Zapdos, you can have a second copy of Pikachu EX. And that's your ideal setup. But you don't want two of any of the other ones out. Okay. It's pretty good. You're like willing to bench extras for Pikachu damage in some spots, but ideally you have one of each Pokemon out. Or two Pikachu EX instead of Pika and Zapdos. I didn't play any PGAX because I don't have any. Trainer Split is working for Starmie. Starmie and Articuno has a lot more room to play with. Yeah. Like, so you need... Your, your guaranteed slots are two Staryu, two Starmie, two Articuno. So that's six Pokemon. Two Research, two Pokeball, two Misty, and six Trainers. So that's... You got eight slots to work with super easily. So if you add two Sabrina, two Giovanni, two X Speed. X Speeds are kind of optional because Starmie has free retreat cost, but it's still helpful because Articuno doesn't. Um, even then, you still have two left over. So it's pretty easy to work in some one ofs, I think. Well, my opponent is not interested in me using a supporter this turn, which I think is incredibly rude. But you don't have the same room in a deck like this one. You tried 1x speed, feels so bad? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the, the double x speed for most decks. How long did it take to get... Used to the smaller bench. Um, within the same day I started playing. It makes a lot of sense for the condensed version, I think. Yeah, I was a little worried about Sabrina, but he can just attach energy to himself and retreat just fine, so... It's not really a problem. I like using Psyduck and Tentacruel instead of Staryu, since you don't have them. It makes sense. Yeah. Articuno, you can even run it by itself. And I think Lapras is all right. I think if you have all the cards, I think it's a just Articuno, just Staryu line deck. If you have all the cards. But it does okay as a budget. Like, as, as long as you have Articuno and Misty, the rest of your deck matters a lot less. Just because Misty is so good. And Articuno is so solid. Um, but yeah, the Lapras is pretty good with Misty. Greninja Line is pretty good. I I don't think I have enough Amistar yet. 
But as soon as I have two Amistar, I kind of want to try a just Articuno and Amistar version. So I always start with Articuno, but you still have a second thing. I, I think always starting Articuno is like way overrated. I don't think that matters too much. I remember on the first day, people were freaking out. Like you can just <laughs> you you can just run Zapdos or Articuno as your only Pokemon, and then just like abuse the <laughs> guaranteed starting basic rule. And it's like, nah, that doesn't matter. Who cares? I certainly don't. My opponent's about to care that I destroy them. So I'm always doing that. And I'm expecting Zapdos to die or me to win. So I think I'll put this down just so that when they Sabrina me... Have they already used all their Sabrinas, by the way? No, right? If they Sabrina me, it doesn't set me too far back. But even then, I don't think it matters at all. I think I just win this game. Unless I get two tails. Or, like, uh, not two heads. But yeah, we're good. I tried Articuno Greninja, it feels good, but I prefer Starmie. I would never not run Starmie myself. <clears throat> but, like, I, I was talking about how it has all those extra slots in the deck to play with. You can afford to put in a full Greninja line. You can you can go, like, maybe 2-2-1 two, two, or 2-2-2. Two, 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 two. Like, you can, you can make that choice. Let's see. So there were the, the six guaranteed trainers, the six guaranteed whatever. So we have eight spots left over. So if that was all if that was all Greninja line, six of the eight slots, then I have to choose between X Speed and Sabrina. Maybe I would go one one. I I also feel like a two two one line of the, the Greninja could be okay. Because, like, you need to find Froakie, or the middle Froakie. I don't know what's in the middle. But you need to find the, the stage one before you find Greninja. But by the time you found all that, you've probably dug through enough of your deck that you've found the second one. So, yeah. You could probably go 2x speed in a Sabrina, or 2 Sabrina in an X speed. You certainly don't need Giovanni if you're playing Greninja, because Greninja kind of fills that role. Ugh. I've had better hands. The more okay, so I thought that the Starmie Articuno deck was the best deck in the game, but the more I play this one, I think it's this one. You know, it's it's hard to pick. I think they have some pretty distinct advantages over each other, but yeah, you know, it probably really is still just the Misty deck. It's so consistent. <laughs> Did I end up getting Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? I haven't. No, I I think if I had a friend group that valued that gameplay still, I'd be more inclined to get it, but. I'd be getting it just to play with myself, and I've played enough Dragon Ball Z games. And I, like the other thing is, I already have like all of Dragon Ball Fighter Z that I've barely played to the full extent of it. So if I was itching for Dragon Ball gameplay, I'd already be kind of set. Mm hmm. Man, this, this game is going to be so different as soon as it gets a second draw supporter. Like, first of all, if you had a supporter that was half of Professor Oak's re uh, half of Professor's research, if it was just a supporter that said draw one card, I think you would play that in a lot of decks. Like, just as is, because you just want more copies of deck thinning in this. <laughs> it's just really funny to think about. Like, that is not a good card, but I think it would get played. Um... <clears throat> but uh like say say shuffle your hand in and draw three which is like a card that i think could get printed at some point yeah as soon as it gets that these decks are gonna be pretty consistent i think you're gonna have you know four spots devoted to draw is gonna be pretty good you're probably gonna find draw um that'll be good so, like, if we get a Pokeball for Evolutions, and maybe a supporter that's Shuffle Your Hand in and Draw 3 or something like that, then you have eight consistency spots, and you're going to be able to build your lines pretty effectively. A lot more decks are going to feel on the level of the Pikachu deck and on the level of the Articuno deck. Because right now, those are the only ones that feel really consistent to me. It's just those two. Mm-hmm.
That's because they attack with basics in stage ones. Stage twos are super clunky. Super duper clunky. What do I think about the Arbok Weezing deck? I think it's okay. Yeah, I, I had fun playing it. The Arbox HP is low for having to put two energies on it, I think. Like, a lot of stuff clears it pretty easily. I think if Koga could pull Arbok, it'd be a game changer. Like, that might actually be a real deck if, if Koga could pull Arbok. Because it only hits Weezing and then a Pokemon that you're never going to attack with, Muck. Also, like, it targeting the Muck is so bad, right? Like, the, um... I don't know, maybe I should have sent out Pikachu. I didn't want Pikachu to take 40 damage, is why I did that. But then I should have sent up this Pikachu, right? Hmm. This one dies in two Blizzard attacks, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't like the play I made. I should have sent up one of the Pikachus. Probably the basic war. <clears throat> non EX one. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah. That sent me back a lot. They've used a potion, right? Yeah. So if they use no more potions, the Zapdos can just finish this off. That guy's potential, just need better support for it. Yeah, I think the Arbok needs to require one energy and or be returnable with the Koga. But yeah, that's what I was going to say about the Muck, is like... So this Pikachu is for sure going to knock out Articuno, and Raichu is going to for sure knock out whatever comes up after. So by retreating the Zapdos, there isn't a world where they like... They already used both Sabrinas, right? I think it was safe either way. But at least this way, there's there's nothing they could do, right? I'm gonna knock out that Articuno with this this turn. And especially because they've used both Sabrinas. Yeah, because they've used both Sabrinas, there's nothing they can follow it up with. See, so I guess Sabri retreating didn't matter. Fighter Z is great, still getting patched too. Mm. Big fan. I like I'm a big fan of watching Fighter Z, but I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I tried to be good. I, I I couldn't get the hang of it. I think part of it is I was playing it on Switch and apparently the latency is not great. But um I think the game looks phenomenal. I really like the way it looks. Yeah, this the Sturmy is going Dizown. Dizown Town. I guess a red card was scary for me. <laughs> but they didn't have one. So we're gonna boop that thing. Goodbye, Starmy. Yeah. <laughs> Could you explain the potato friendly tag? <laughs> We're potato friendly here, okay? 
<laughs> I um I was searching for tags. <laughs> I was searching for tags to add to my stream because I realized I didn't have any. And <laughs> uh potato friendly was in there. I was like, ah yeah, I'll go with potato friendly. That seems what's up. Yeah, and you use zero fighting energy, so Brock is the one you use. It's fun. Oh, even so like you have you have it only produce dark energy so you can always attack with the wheezing and it doesn't matter because the Brock will produce one for you. Uh, is Golem one fighting three colorless for its attack? You say that, but every time anyone says potato, we get told three ways to kill them. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> hey, potatoes, potatoes are meant to be consumed. All right. Yeah, exactly. It's really fun. That is a cool idea. That's a cool idea. Alright. That looks neat. See, that looks awesome. That looks cool, too. Hmm. Even still, I think I generally prefer the base forms of things. This, uh, this illustration Pikachu has really grown on me, though. This one. I like that one. Also, I did pick you to raid because you were potato friendly. All right, see? Success. Success. Being potato friendly helps every time. Every time it does. Having x here is great. That's my opinion. Potato friendly means if you like potatoes or you're a potato with internet access, you're respected and appreciated here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You love to see the three tails. That's devastating for them. Oh my goodness. Chat, I feel like we have a chance of winning this game. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you, chat. I think we may be favored to win here. Especially if we draw Magneton soon. Start juicing up the bench. Marshamu, please say hello to Mamacita. She is from Brazil. Hello, Mamacita. <laughs> Let's go, three more tails. Let's go. Even if they get three heads. What are they going to do? Come up with and deal 70 damage to me? And they get blown away? If I try Pokemon TCG Live, I play so much Pokemon TCG Live. Um, that's my number one off-stream game these days. I'm a big fan of the paper Pokemon card game. That has been my, my origin of marshy card game enjoyment is the paper card game so i played a lot of ptcgo when that existed and the uh i nowadays i play the not as good pokemon live a lot have you seen triple tails and moltres or one tails with misty and instant concede i don't see triple tails with moltres often enough i don't think and it's like if you get triple tails with moltres you can still try again next turn, whereas like you're out your Misty if you get Tails on that. And I, I think I've seen Tails on Misty concede once or twice. I don't think I've seen it that much. Mm. Do I care about the Flawless Victory? I have two points, right? So, in the event that... Oh, I don't have a Lieutenant Surge. I take it back. Uh, I'm still going to power up this Zapdos, though. I think it'll be fine. I was thinking, like, they kill the Pikachu and then have something else to send up. I don't know. I feel like Zapdos has a really good shot of killing most things, so... Mm hmm. My opponent's really sticking in there. 
They're really hanging in there, chat. Hoping I don't top deck the energy. <laughs> that I'm guaranteed to have. Oh, you know what? I could get four tails, right? I could get four tails twice in a row. You never know, chat. <laughs> that would be a disaster for me if that happened. Oh, we have a Lieutenant Surge anyway. We don't care about taking chances anymore. We're just gonna win. Oh. Did they do it? I'm going first, so I'm going to play this. If I was going second, I... Th no. I'm not sure how, how important it is to play around red cards still. Hmm. -hmm. I'm only going to play that Zapdos if I go to attack with Pikachu, need the fourth Pokemon, and haven't drawn a regular Pikachu yet. How do you get the cool looking full art cards? Are those like Golden and Hearthstone, or are they buyable like Diamond cards? They... you pull them randomly out of packs, and you can craft everything so far, I think. I actually don't know. I have a full art promo Pikachu in here that might be exclusive. I don't know if you can craft that, but... This one. I don't know that you can... Does anyone know? Can you craft this? But... Um, otherwise, everything's craftable. Boop. You can craft anything, even this? You think you can't craft it? Hmm. Disaster. <laughs> so there's no way to get the second one then? For this? Because you can only get one from the, the thing, right? It's from the... I got it from the past free trial. I don't have a Lieutenant Surge in hand, which is a bummer. If I lose this Pikachu to a... If I lose this Pikachu to a Greninja, it's going to be a disaster for me. Hmm. I guess what I'll do is I'll send up Pichu or Raichu and then X speed into Zapdos. Oh my. <laughs> uh, the Greninja is pulling its weight this game. That is disgusting. It takes two Greninja hits to knock out my benched Pikachu EX. But that's enough, right? Am I actually getting murped by a Greninja? Maybe not. If I get Lieutenant Surge, I could be okay. You have to go to the... Uh, you have to go to the premium... Like, rewards track, where you were... Um, wherever you redeem your, like, exclusive premium rewards. Is where you'll find that. Alright, so we have a chance, we have a chance. You don't just get it, you have to actually get it from the premium shop. So this will knock that out. And then... As long as... Okay, so the, we don't win if... Because they, they can't Sabrina and Misty in the same turn, right? Okay. <laughs> if they Misty, three two heads on Articuno come up and like have either X-Speed or the Starmie, then they can get the Pikachu. 
The other thing is red cards. So they could red card my Lieutenant Surge away. I'm scared. I'm scared of death. <laughs> All right, we're we're cool. We're good. Hey. <laughs> Was it guaranteed? Oh yeah, cuz I could just retreat for the magneton. All right, yeah. I didn't need the lieutenant surge to kill that. So, starting magnemite, not great. Ooh. Pikachu? Yay. I mean, Zapdos might be better in this situation, right? Because we... I think I'm going to chill in hopes that they red card me. Um, <clears throat> so going first, especially against something that's lightning weak, I think Zapdos might be better because it can start chipping away with one energy. And Pikachu has to two-shot things anyway. This can chip away with one energy. Should I go aggro Magneton? Because they didn't play Misty, right? They might have gotten a Misty, though. Alright, this this is risky. But I'm kind of playing the hand I have, is my idea. <laughs> no Misty, let's go... Sabrina. Interesting. Well, I have the X speed, so that doesn't matter too much. Ooh, cool. Here's a Zapdos. This Magneton's going down, so we can play this. We do want to... have a regular Pikachu out to evolve into the Raichu for Lieutenant Surge reasons at some point. Like, we want to have that option. But... Yeah, there we go. Probably Sin of Zapdos and Chip again. It is 80 over 2, so if they potion me again, I think I'm in a rough spot. Maybe I send up the Zapdos and start powering up Pikachu. Because Pikachu just ends it. Oh, Pikachu and a Raichu. Alright. That's good. So if I do this, and I do this... We actually just like super win next turn. If they play another Articuno, I'll send up Pikachu, and if not, I'll just write to him. So Raichu is actually pretty beastly. The 140 damage is super relevant. Like, this is a lot of fast damage the Pikachu does, but... Uh, okay, so now we might be in a little trouble. Not anymore. But I could have attached... No. Yeah, I, I didn't think I had a good option there. I, uh... Yeah, I was pretty toast if I didn't top deck the right... Or didn't get the right you in a Lieutenant Surge in the, in the sand. X-Speed fixed it too, I guess. I had a lot of outs. 
You know, it's good to have outs, you know what I mean? So I play Raichu, and then Lieutenant Surge, let's move all these energies up, and then we do a jillion damage. Yay! 